Hello, this is Professor Massar, and welcome to another lecture on some of the gross anatomy of your abdominal viscera. For this lecture, it would be handy again to have your lab handout uh, for Unit 3 to go along with some of the terms that I'm walking through. And uh, it will also be helpful to have your textbook open. Uh, if you're using the uh, Marieb textbook, the 11th edition, uh, you want to be on page 900 and looking at figure 2328. That will give you a, uh, a, a figure that looks similar to this one with the parts that are labeled so you can follow along. But if you don't have that, you can still follow along and I'll show you what's what. What we're seeing here are some of your organs from your abdominal viscera. This is, uh, of course, an isolated, out of context view, but let's go through the major parts. This is your spleen. This is your pancreas. This is your duodenum. Let's get oriented. This is the anterior surface or anterior view of these organs. This is superior. This is inferior. This is the left side of the body. This is the right side of the body. If we had the other abdominal viscera here, what we would expect to see is sitting above the pancreas and maybe a little bit in front of it would be the stomach. And over in this area here, we would also expect to see the liver. Below the pancreas, we would expect to find the uh, transverse colon and then some more abdominal viscera, most of the rest of your small intestine. Let's start with the duodenum first. The duodenum is the first part of the small intestine and also the shortest of the uh, three uh, regions, followed by the jejunum and then the ileum. The duodenum connects the stomach to the jejunum. This first part that we see here is essentially the continuation from, uh, from the uh, pyloric sphincter of the stomach. So the stomach, which would be situated somewhere around here, would be uh, 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 emptying its contents through the pyloric sphincter into this part of the duodenum. Then food basically travels down through this part of the duodenum. At this point, we call it chyme. And this uh, digested material, this acidified material, then travels down through this part of the duodenum in a region called the descending duodenum because the food descends downward. It is in this part of the duodenum that uh, you find this small little structure here, which is called the uh, major duodenal papilla. The major duodenal papilla is the common opening for this duct that we find here in the pancreas, which is called the pancreatic duct. And it's also the opening for a structure that you can't quite see right here, but I'll show you uh, in another view in a moment. It's also the opening for the common bile duct. So this opening that we see here, the major duodenal papilla, is the common opening for pancreatic juices and enzymes that come from the uh, pancreatic duct and also bile that is draining from the common bile duct, from the gallbladder and the liver. The duodenum continues down this way in a curve, otherwise known as a flexure, and then continues up uh, as what's called the ascending duodenum, and then continues on here and to the, uh, the uh, jejunum. So this is the uh, beginning of the duodenum. This is the end of it. From here on, it continues in the small intestine as the jejunum. In the pancreas, the pancreas has a few different parts to it. This part that connects to the spleen or that attaches to the spleen is the tail of the pancreas. This part from about uh, I don't know, here to maybe about here, we would call the uh, body of the pancreas. This part of the pancreas that sits basically in front of these major blood vessels, we would call the neck. And then this part of the pancreas that's sort of tucked in here up against the uh, descending duodenum, we would call the head. Now here it's not so easy to see the head of the pancreas, but if we were to turn this model around, like so, we can see the parts a little more easily. So again, here is the spleen, here is your duodenum, here is the pancreas. This is the tail, body, the neck would be up here, and the head would be here. You see this green structure coming down here, this green tube? What is that? You may recall that this is a tube that's coming from both the gallbladder and also from the liver. And so we call this tube, that's right, the common bile duct. These blood vessels, this is your uh, 
inferior vena cava, and this may be either, uh, I think it's a branch of your, this is your, maybe your, uh, hmm, I'm trying to decide whether it's your uh, abdominal aorta or a branch coming off your abdominal aorta, and they just left the abdominal aorta off of this. Uh, I don't think it really matters for the sake of this uh, uh, figure. One of your anatomy instructors who's smarter than me can tell you. What's also missing here from this figure is a, uh, a portal vein, uh, a portal vessel that is draining the uh, 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 blood from your digestive tract, taking it back to the liver. I guess they left it out just to uh, keep the model from getting too complicated. But in any case, those are the uh, structures that we want you to appreciate in this model. Thanks.